couldn't be better conditions for day two of the Mountain West Baseball Championships. And we begin in this double elimination portion of our tournament, the first of the elimination games. And we match up San Diego State and UNLV here in game one of three. It's two and two here to Atkinson. Another one on the way. That's the curveball drilled down the left field line. That's fair. This will go into the corner for extra bases. Trejo can trot in. Scooped up at the wall by Howard, and Atkinson glides to second with a two-out RBI double, and San Diego State has grabbed a 1-0 lead. Back in the sides of the helmet for good baseball plays. A 1-2 drilled through the right side on the ground. Might get another run. Atkinson is getting windmilled around. Van Mietren's throw is up the line, and it's an RBI single for Thornton. On, I don't know what Stan Stolte's number is, but two already here in the first. Verdon drills one over the shortstop, Rodriguez's head. That'll score a man. Thorne is in from third and Hensley to second. And Jordan Verdon, the freshman first baseman, has a two-out RBI single in the latter two affairs. The 1-0, line to right center. That's going to find turf. A base hit might split the gap. Backhanded in the alley by Atkinson. This will turn into an SMA RBI double as Ismail scores from second. And the Rebels have come out with their hitting shoes on. With that, but yeah, the sponsored name. I mean, that's a $5 million naming rights gift to the university. Line drive to right, caught by Atkinson. It'll turn into a sack fly and an RBI for Nick Rodriguez as Van Mietren scores umpires on that that's a good point this one hit over the bag up the middle base knock for Hensley Atkinson turning around third the throw comes through off the mound and kicks up in the air and as Atkinson scores easily Hensley has an RBI knock living somewhere in Montana there's a ball driven to right field hit well off the bat of Thornton and that one is going to be up and over the wall at the 405 mark a solo home run by Thornton and that'll break the 5-5 tie, giving San Diego State a 6-5 lead. Still out at second. There's a ball back up the middle into center field. Around third comes Burden. Here comes the throw. It will not be cut off. It will not be in time. An insurance run indeed as Wiley drives home Burden, and it's now 7-5 in favor of San Diego State. There is a little bit of a, a curvature to the center field wall. This one is scorched right center field. Way back there, this might go, and it does. Jordan Verdon, one of the deepest parts of the ballpark to right center field, some 420 feet. A two-run home run for Verdon, who now has a four-hit day, three legs of the cycle, three RBIs, and three runs scored. It'll take an hour and 30 minutes, and it'll be one nothing. Swing a high fly ball to left field. Calabuig in position, settling on it. And he makes the catch. The Aztecs extend their season with their 14th consecutive victory in a game when facing elimination. 18-8, they take down the Rebels. 